Washington News 12 Long Island. We're going to salute a, a very talented Long Islander right now, Dr. Gabriel Oyibo of Dix Hills, revising Einstein's famous theory of relativity. And his new calculations uh, has earned him a Nobel Prize nomination for physics this year. We are very pleased to have Dr. Oyibo with us. Thanks for coming in. Thank you very much, Doug. The achievement has earned him a Nobel Prize nomination. Gabriel Oyibo created the unified field theory. It's an education based in quantum physics. The theory combines the works of both Einstein and Newton. Unified field theory blends math and science to give insight into the very basis of our existence. It turned out that people found mathematics to be one route. As you know, mathematics is a language. Dr. Gabriel Ayibo has answers to the questions that puzzled Einstein right up until his death. He has unified the theories of electromagnetic force and gravity while incorporating quantum physics. But if you look beyond first glance, you see Dr. Ayibo's breakthrough is far more than numbers and equations. The, the answer to the question, is it the Big Bang theory that the universe came into existence or the word of God you know, which the, the scripture says created the universe. Mm -hmm. And so Albert Einstein was preoccupied with how to find a solution. And he died in the process of trying to find a solution. And so therefore, people recognize that that must be an interesting problem. So everybody jumped on the bandwagon <laughs> trying to find a solution. And what has happened is that we were able to be blessed by the Almighty God with a solution to that problem. Uh, after studying his work for 35 years, mm -hmm. you know, uh, um, and uh, basically what we found was that the account given by the science, which is a Big Bang theory, mm -hmm. I have a common denominator in a wave theory. A wave theory. Yes, okay. because the Big Bang has a wave connotation to it in terms of the sound and the explosion. And then the word of God is also a wave because that's mm -hmm. a sound wave. Mm -hmm. So basically the scriptures and uh, science are speaking the same language. Hmm, interesting. Yes. So the theory of relativity, of course, uh, just ex explain that. Yeah, the, the theory of relativity, you know, was on its way to, exp to answering the total question. Mm -hmm. And it dealt with the gravity, which is a major part of those, uh, this force field. There are four of them that are known currently. Uh, gravity, electromagnetic, strong, and the weak forces. Okay. Uh, the theory of relativity actually deals with the gravity component. Maxwell had dealt with... Uh, electromagnetic. The strong and the weak is being puzzling everybody. So uh, they want all those four combined. And what the equation did was to combine not just those four, but others that may not have been found yet. Hmm. The graph that you're seeing there is the unification of the four force fields that are known, as well as those that have not been known yet. This grand unified truth. So everybody has interest. It's not an issue of mathematics, physics, chemistry, or any of those stuff. It is a real uh, question that just like a human would want to know who is his father and his mother, or her father and her mother, and who is the grandparents, and you know, where did they all come from, and, and so on and so forth, you know. Uh, so, the previous generations have theorized that. One was what you call a holy book account. The holy books account. Okay? Like the Bible, the Quran, Torah, and all that. Okay? Written and unwritten. Basically says that the universe came out of the word of God. God said, let there be light. And the word of God transformed into light. So God's word, okay, God's word, 
Okay? The second account is the Big Bang. The Big Bang. Okay? BBT, Big Bang Theory. Which says that the universe came out of a big explosion. Boom! And everything shot out of that big explosion. Big explosion. Big explosion. Okay? And the third one uh, is not as popular, but came before this too. And that's the one by the ancient Africans. Okay? It says that the universe came out of the roaring water waves. Roaring water waves of none. Okay? Encapsulated in the Shabaka stone. That's by the ancient Africans. Ancient Africans. Ancient Africans. So there are these three accounts. The summary of you know what Gagat has done is basically to Gagat came and through a mathematical process was able to unify these three accounts. Okay? Gagat unifies these three accounts by saying that the word of God, or God's word, was indeed the big explosion or the big bang, which actually sounded like the roaring water waves of none. So Gagat unifies unifies this three accounts. That is from the phonetics and so on and so forth. But from the mathematical point of view, the unification factor is like, like the account of the roaring water waves itself, which I'm going to get into in, the, in a little bit, looks at a common denominator. A common denominator, common factor, common building block. And that common denominator for all these three accounts is waves. 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 God's word is a wave. Explosion, a big bang, is characterized by waves, whether it be sound waves that you hear in an explosion, which is very a big part of it, or the lights and all the other various forms that come out of it. If you have a nuclear explosion, you have radiation, you have all kinds of things. Okay? So therefore, there are waves in a big bang. And certainly, the roaring water waves, is already waves in there. So these three accounts have waves, like it's a common denominator. So you can say that it's like those six elephants. Sorry, six men that went to see the elephants. Mm -hmm. This one saw it like a sound waves. This one saw it as other forms of waves in terms of an explosion. And certainly the ancient Africans saw it like the water waves, the roaring water waves. So there is a, a sincere, sincerity in all the three accounts. I don't want to get to solutions first because... We have a tendency to not study the problem at its essential. In other words, I want to do all the things I want to do and keep doing it. And if you can, please get rid of the symptoms so that I can continue.